This is where landscape architect Claudia Neumeister works in the 300-year-old Moscow Castle Gardens. I'm Claudia Neumeister. I've lived and worked in Moscow Park since 2009, and today I'd like to show you three of my favorite places here. It's largely thanks to Claudia that pineapples are being cultivated here again. That carries on an old princely tradition. Starting in the 16th century, it became fashionable among European nobility to grow the exotic tropical fruit in their own orangeries. Prince Pukla, who valued prestige and making an impression, discovered them for himself and grew them here in his greenhouse. Claudia and her friend Jan Grunfeld like to go biking, a popular activity for tourists here. The town of Bad Moskow lies on the popular oder nysa cycle route, which runs along the German border with Poland. Bad Moskow is surrounded by the park. About 4,000 people live in the small spa town. Hidden in an old building is a passageway that locals have known for generations, but hardly a tourist has heard of until now. Here we are at the alley that leads to the old church ruins. We'll follow it to the Oberweg pathway. Moscow residents used to take this shortcut uphill to the church, which dates from the 14th century. It's now a ruin, but well worth a visit. We've now arrived at my first recommendation, one of several wonderful observation points along the Moscow Oberweg, here with the romantic church ruins in the background. You can really enjoy the view from one of these stone benches. The last service in the church took place in 1785. Nowadays, Moscow residents celebrate a traditional New Year's Eve Mass in the ruins. We continue on to what was once the Babina coal mine. Lignite, or brown coal, was mined here until 1973. A geological trail gives you a closer look at the unique aspects of the countryside. You find out how it was formed by the last ice age and altered by mining. That explains the rust-colored water in some of the lakes, a result of mining. We're now at my second recommendation, this lovely observation tower. We're going to climb up and take a look at the scenery from above. The 30-meter-tall tower in the Geopark was built in 2014. It gives you a panoramic view of the landscape, known as the Moscow Arch. Now we head back to Moscow Park. After the 15-kilometer tour, it's time for refreshment at the Oleander restaurant. The Oleander restaurant is my third recommendation because you can sit out in the open air on the edge of the park in a relaxed atmosphere. And I think we've earned it. The restaurant serves a sweet specialty, homemade first Puckler ice cream. A 19th century cook at the Prussian royal court named his creation after the prince who was so important to Bad Moscow. Claudia Neumeister and her friend enjoy the fine dessert. And if you travel to Bad Moscow, you can try it yourself.